Not bad. <laughs> I'd expected as much from the Ashen Chevalier, but the Hatchlings truly impressed. And not just Black Rabbit and the Vander. They all have such potential. <laughs> Damn. They're as strong as I'd imagined. Still, they're not unbeatable. <laughs> so we push straight through, huh? Too cocky. We were merely testing you until now. Sure, sure you are. Just like every other time. The hell? They still have power in reserve? Yes, we've hardly scratched the surface of their true strength. Stay on your guard, everyone! A combat link? No, this is different! Be careful! This is how they caught me! <laughs> it's been a while since we've performed the Radiant Star Formation for such a big audience. There's a reason we Stalritter are considered the strongest in Ouroboros. And you're about to feel it firsthand! Are... There's no need for that. <gasps> Don't tell me. Are we really gonna do this here now? <gasps> Who is that? That armor. That helmet. My lord! You've returned. I is that one of Ouroboros' seven anguists? Ironrod, the Steel Maiden. I am the seventh pillar of Ouroboros. Arian Road, the Steel Maiden. Arian Road, fine. <laughs> Students of Thor's, you who would carry on the will of the Lionheart Emperor. <laughs> what is this? Her presence alone is so powerful. It's as if each word she speaks is weighing down on us. Heed my call! Valimar, the Ashen Knight! No hesitation. Huh? Now? Acknowledged. Forget the Ion. We can't take any chances! Not with her! Class 7, take Milliam and get out of here! A wise decision. But your timing was poor. So, just a bit too l Damn it! Late. What? T teleportation It did seem to have a lot of spatial- <sighs> Stuff. Velimar! <laughs> How fortunate we are. Now, I've been meaning to test you for some time. Show me what your eight leaves one blade school is capable of, Ashen Awakener. Uh, is this truly happening? We don't even have any old, like, old class seven people in our party? <laughs> this can't be real. Yuna, hold on to this for me. Wait, what does that mean? But, instructor! Without that, you won't be able to... Yeah, that's the point. I've always wanted to test my sword against a legend. Reen! Instructor! This is just like he was during the Civil War! I am Reen Schwarzer, intermediate level disciple of the Eight Leaves One Blade School. I shall dedicate my body and my soul to challenging you! Laudable words. Let's see if you have the skill to match. Well, I'm not quite as much of an evasion tank this time. One-on-one. One-on-one. Come, Ashen Awakener. 
Seventy percent. Not in hand state. Okay. Uh. Uh. Da 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 da. Go. Arcane. Oh god, I remember these attacks! I remember so many of these attacks! I should be able to live- Yeah, one more! That's what I thought. I can't lose! I'm not sure why I got that CP increase. Did I actually die earlier? To me, mighty Take this. You're finished. Now I was I approaching fight. this like I was um I was approaching this like I had three turns on it. Means I have plenty of turns to do stuff like this, at the very least. Take this! You're finished! Ready yourself? It's my turn! Form up! Iron Will Formation! I'm up! Arcane? Gale! Thunder of the boiling heavens. Fall to the battlefield! Ready yourself. I can't lose! Arcus, activate! Ready yourself. I can't lose! Arcus, activate! Thunder of the boiling heavens. To the Ooh, that's close. Oh, and you. Fight. Okay. Okay, that's a thing. What do I actually have? That <laughs> heals a bunch of HP. Not much. Not much at all. I saw 3,000. Watermelon! Let's go, watermelon! Yeah! Let's go. Let's take that chance. Let's go. Raging fire formation. It's my turn. Arcane. <laughs> Gale. <laughs> okay. I had plenty of room to get there. Uh Instructor Reen! Uh, is he...? What's going on? Is he losing control? Shh, fool. Such is the price of standing against our lord as a mere human. If he truly becomes a beast, we'll have no choice but to put him down. 
Now, what will you do? Will you become a demon? Will you run? Or will you accept your defeat? You know, it does feel like every time we've run into them, they've been trying to drive him into this corner. As long as I can give Milliam and the students a chance to escape, it doesn't matter what happens to me. They're not even trying at this point. No! no! Wait, you can't! Just shut up, damn it! That's enough out of you! Quit trying to act all tough! If I didn't intervene, I would be bringing shame upon the Vander name. If you got any sexier right now, there's no telling what I'd do. They're safe! Why? Let us protect you, Instructor. This is not the time for that! Uh. Admirable, but naive. Allow me to give you a taste of reality. That's enough! That was... Guys. A hawk? <laughs> he looks like he's from... Nord. The last member of the original Class 7. Oh, have we met everyone else? I guess we have. I've missed you, Reen. Milliam, what have you gotten yourself into? <laughs> Guys, it's really you! <laughs> Just in time, too! Alright, I'm getting sick of this! Have you been able to do that this whole time? Milliam! <laughs> She's free! Whew. Sorry about that! That was tougher than it looked. <laughs> Such power. We underestimated the Iron Blood's White Rabbit. Not to mention this Nord, Gaius Warzel of the original Class 7. There's something about him. He has a presence, despite his youth and demeanor. Oh, it's definitely the wind. 100%. It's unlike that of the Ashen Awakener, but it's hardly that of a normal human. Interesting. Well, I'm nothing compared to you, right? But I should be just strong enough to ensure their escape. <laughs> so be it. Such power. We have enough mana. The stage is set. Young horned lions and agent of the gnomes. Hmm? Tonight, at least, you may rest at ease. What now? Agent of the what now? Gaius? I'm back in control. Oh, thank goodness. Huh. You never stop pushing yourself, do you? Instructor! That was way too reckless! Oh, I'm sorry, but you'll have to save the scolding for later. Come on out, Azure Siegfried! Oh, 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 okay. So this is the agent of the gnomes. I forgot he was in the area. I, my mind was so distracted with other stuff. What a headache. Huh? It couldn't be. Huh. Guess the maiden knew I was here all along. I've got some training to do, and so do you guys. Well, 
After what we just went through, I'm not about to argue. But it seems you're standing against Ouroboros after all. What exactly are you trying to get from this island? Or from the battle in the canyon? And above all, why are you wearing that mask? <laughs> Same reason the maiden's wearing hers. But that's the only question I'm going to answer. So long. Hide the identity? W wait! That would be my assumption. Class 7 old and new. You're good, but you're still not good enough. From here on out, you'll be facing dead men and beings of legend. But as you are now, you'd be better off sitting on the sidelines sucking your thumbs. Well, thank you very much. That's a very nice, a nice thing of you to say. Thank you. <sighs> Crow was never this asshole. He was never that much of an asshole. He was like a fucking troll at times, but he was never an asshole. Uh. I didn't just dream that, did I? Forgive me, I was unable to be of any assistance. Well, you were helpful because they could have used that thing to, you know, go after us if they really wanted to anyways. No, this is on me. I just was not strong enough. That white iron was unbelievably powerful. Indeed, you may want to devise a countermeasure before we have to face it again. I will do the same. Much appreciated. See ya, Val! Wow. Valmore is sounding so much more human. Seriously, he was like all like, he's a boar of acknowledged before. <laughs> True. He still hasn't regained his old memories, though. Anyway, Milliam, I'm glad you're safe. And I'm sure Eustace is too. I've already notified everyone at the Duke's Mansion. Thanks, guys, and all of you, and Tilly, too. You can thank us by being more careful from now on. Oh, come on, Allie. It's okay to tell her how happy you are to see her safe. <laughs> Seriously. And guys, thank you for saving us. It's not the reunion I expected, but I'm glad it's the one we got. Well, that makes two of us. Man, you're still taller than everyone. <laughs> So, you're the final member of Class 7. Not sequentially, but sure. He sure is. Though I haven't heard from him in a while, so I was actually starting to get worried. Me and Jesus haven't heard from him either. What's the deal, Gaius? You liar. That was like in the opening of the chapter. Both of you are like, Gaius? I've been fairly busy. Right. Time for a proper introduction. I'm Gaius Warzel, former member of Class 7 and proud Nord. Good to meet you, new Class 7. And I still don't remember what your hawk's name was. Yeah. It seems like the winds have blessed us with a reunion. Zeo, was it? Nah, I remember you. Oh, okay. Did he follow you from Nord? Yeah. He's always been there for me, watching over me from above. The way he helped us before wasn't like any bird I've ever seen. So, hey, uh, Gaius, what was up with, um, Aryanrod, um... Wait, was it Aryanrod, right? Or was it... Er... Aryan rot. Oh, it was like just. What's that? <laughs> I am the seventh pillar of Ouroboros. Aryan Road, the Steel Maiden. Error. 
Error, 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 error. Arian Road. Uh, the way he helped us before wasn't even like any bird I've ever seen. Oh yeah, yeah, well, that was the idea. Guys, what did she mean by that? Hmm. I've only met you and Brigadier General Bardius, but are all of Nord's people as strong as you two? Actually, those ancestors were from Nord. He was born in the Empire. We only have a, we only have a mutual acquaintance at most. I was actually hoping to meet with him soon. Were you? That shouldn't be too difficult under the circumstances. Right. They probably have more than enough mana by now. It seems like the stage is finally set. Between this and the Jaegers, this is getting way out of hand. Yeah, you're telling me. I knew something was up, but this is way more than something. It's good that you were able to uncover new information. But I'd rather you consider your position as an agent before being captured. But I thought I was totally fine till they busted out that spell. And my friends came to save me, so it all worked out. You're the best, Tilly. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you're funny, Millian. And you really were amazing, Allie. She was just... She was telling us. She was just... She was telling us she just couldn't leave you be. Really? Really, really? I don't know. I forget. <laughs> I love you, Tilly. As I said... Uh, never mind. <laughs> Adorable. This has got to be some sort of mistake, though, right? I won't agree with you, but... There's just too much evidence to the contrary. The Stall Ritter was there, and that masked man showed him. And we saw Zephyr. I had my suspicions, but... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that guy's affiliated with the Black Workshop. Oh, yeah, that... I figured that was, like, an assumption that we were treating as a fact by this point. His face is covered up, but... Uh... Oh, oh, Crow. Yeah. Sorry. I thought you were talking about the Jaegers. Oh, but what I'm thinking can't be right. So if there's any other possibility... Azure Siegfried. I'm sorry, Reen. I'm sorry that I can help you until now. Had I been in Norn, I would have been there no time. I can't even reach you with our Arcus units. Were you somewhere far? In a way. I was somewhere particularly remote due to special circumstances. My Arcus was virtually useless for a while. Is this what made you abnormally non-human? I see. Oh, you sure got me curious. I'll tell you all about it sometime. More important to the present, Reen. You overdid in your battle against Steel Maiden. Huh? What? Is it like using his powers when he's got none left? You're not wrong, exactly. What I did was a slight to Emma and Selene's kindness. Reen? Destructor. I'm not criticizing you. I know how you are. And I know just what you're up against. No one can blame you for pushing yourself a step too far. Just don't forget, we're here for you. All of your friends, from Thor's, me, Eustace, Millie, Instructor Sarah, and Patrick. Valmar, your colleagues, even your students. We're all here if you need it. So don't think that's your only option. Huh? Uh, how many times are we going to hear that? He's right. You're always pulling stuff like that. Even with whom we're up against, we could have helped. We'd all be happy if you worked with us. Don't keep us at arm's length. We've learned a lot about... A lot because of you. We won't go down so easily. <sighs> Lost for words. Completely. It's given the same lecture before the shrine. It's a bad habit of mine. I know it's something I need to fix. Uh, thanks, guys. All of you, actually. I keep making the same mistakes. Makes me a sad excuse for a friend and instructor at times, but... I'll keep working at it. And don't be afraid to give me another lecture if I need it. Sound fair? <laughs> yeah. And we hope to learn more from you in turn, instructor. I wouldn't mind a more private lecture from you. Misai, we're being serious now. For I need say... This is just too awkward for me. The 
the thing I'm focused on now is what's up with Gaius. Those were really, really specific words. Hmm. So I have a theory. And it's part of my theory from back when I finished Azure. That the Awakeners... Because my theory of everything has the idea that the soul, the idea, is like a combination of the higher elements coming together in a certain form. Consciousness, all that sort of stuff. Because you have Mirage, the ability to perceive the world. Space, the ability to move out around in the world. And time, the ability to pro uh, progress through time and perceive all that. So that's the concept. So I was thinking uh, in my mind that there's like an original source and whatnot for all the different uh, orbital energy and whatnot. And that everyone's connected to it via that. And when you die, your consciousness and whatnot melds back into that in a way. So I had been thinking, and it sort of makes sense as to why Crow could be around too. Which, you know, if this is true, that also makes death mean nothing. But, you know, if they're taking it that direction, they're taking it that direction. Um... It also explained, like, the Swords of and whatnot. But the idea is that the Awakeners are reincarnations of um, previous Awakeners. Like, Reen would be like the uh, reincarnation, essentially, of Dreykel's. Hence why, when uh, What's-Her-Face was saying, we're compatible with Dreykel's memories, da -da -da, and we're compatible with those memories, or something like that, that would make sense. So maybe Gaius is like the reincarnation of Dreykel's great Nord friend or something like that. And, you know, I think the, uh, the knight that, um, oh, I forget, the, the head of uh, Zephyr, the knight that he has, and the fact that they were talking about how the original uh, Divine Knight, that that was a part of back during Dreykel's time, was uh, like a mercenary on the side. Another parallel. All I'm saying, I swear... You could have at least told me where you were headed. I know you didn't want me uh, want me in trouble with the intelligence division, but I'll readily wade through bureaucracy to keep you safe. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I really should have uh, let you know where I was going. Let's just be happy she's back in one piece. Indeed. At least there's some silver lining to all of this. However, the true enormity of our situation has made itself clear. Yeah, unfortunately. The Society has been conducting experiments in Lemaire. And the strongest amongst them, the Steel Maiden, has made her appearance. And if McBurn's around too. McBurn is terrifyingly strong. But this woman seemed just inhuman. It's true. Her appearance almost alone knocked me to the ground. But is it possible that this woman and the legendary Lance Maiden are one and the same? Oh, someone's like actively saying it. For once. They may be, if the rumors are to be believed. There are rumors. All oh, that beautiful blonde hair has me so curious to see her face. We also have to be wary of the White Ion. I seem every bit the successor to the one that made Relia Fortress vanish. I seem less... Oh, I suppose. I don't know why I had in my mind that that white one was a lot more... Like, thin and agile looking. Apparently not. If we can pull the same trick, then we're all... And if that thing can pull the same trick, then we're all in real trouble. Though, according to the Lady Knights, that might not be the case. True. But that doesn't mean we can relax. Something that powerful can teleport... Uh, that can teleport is sure to be dangerous. Just imagine it showing up right here, right now. It's more than a match for a Divine Knight. This does not bode well. Yep, we've really stepped in it now. Hey, sir. Want to cooperate? Brace the guild and all. Instructor! Oh, hey, Sarah. It's been too long, Instructor. <laughs> it sure has, guys. And Millian, how have you been the last two months? Uh, how have the last two months been treating you? I reached out to her and Raquel and asked her to come. The more the merrier. So, what are the plans for the canyon? Oh, don't worry, I've left that in four very capable hands. Hands belonging to Tovel and Agate. Oh, okay. I haven't seen Tovel in forever. Not a bad call. 
I wanted Fee to come along too, but she was busy with something else. Too bad. I would have liked to see her. Yeah, so close to a proper reunion. Anyway, shall we reveal the deployment of the provincial army? A fine idea. Aldous naturally needs to fetch out troops, but we'll have to deploy to the canyon soon. I've got a bad feeling both of those areas are going to see some action. And I don't think we can count on the Imperial Army for any of the heavy lifting. Understood. Let's start breaking down them. That will not be necessary. No, is it horrible? I gotta make myself have a double chin so I properly from by his voice. Marcus. The General do not make me sad again. With the Imperial Provincial Council coming up, the Provincial Army should be focused on orders. It's right to end the name. Let's see the Society's puppet try to take out an entire army. It would be a waste to focus our entire army in one location. We don't know what the Society or the Air Corps plan to do next. We need to be ready to respond to anything. This sounds to me like insubordination, Wallace. I am the ruler of the man that puts me in charge of the Provincial Army. I've oh, forgotten how easily you would be replaced. I would take this one call to the Imperial Government. Yeah. No, no, Marquis Spallin. The Imperial Provincial Council is of the utmost importance, but surely you realize how worried the people of Raquel must be. In fact, isn't Raquel home to some of your favorite establishments? Well, I... Raquel is a rarity amongst the cities of the Empire. Its leader is just one of the things that helped develop its own culture. As the future Duke Haiyan, isn't it important to keep a place like that safe? <laughs> I suppose you're right. But I will only allow you to deploy a single mid-sized unit, nothing more. The rest of your troops should be used to ensure the safety of artists in the Imperial Provincial Council. Do I make myself completely perfectly clear? Crystal. Ha 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 ha. You're in my way. Move. Excuse me. Say that again. Stop. This isn't a battle worth fighting. Ooh? Excuse me, Mr. Future Duke. Hmm? Oh, the girl from yesterday. My name is Muse Egret, granddaughter of Count Egret. I just wanted to say that I hope they make the right decision at the upcoming conference. Oh, so you're Count Egret's... <clears throat> I see. <laughs> I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Farewell now. <laughs> Have a pleasant night. Okay. That was interesting. Was that just like a subtle jab at him? Did you just... Ha! <laughs> I am like a fiddle. <laughs> Amazing what a little ego stroking can do for a man's attitude. Yeah, I've gotta admit, that was clever. Yes, allow me to thank you as well. Tomorrow's going to be quite the day. Yeah, I'll be making preparations well into the night. Green Class 7, you might want to return to your camp for the evening. Good point. After an adventure like that, anyone would be spent. Not me. Since I've scooped up all day, I'm still full of energy. I got work to do tonight. Then I hope you'll let me help. As for you, though, I'd like you all to rest. You have to be ready for tomorrow. Ah, uh, when you put it that way. Being well rested is essential to our mission. The eyes have it. Call us if you need us. Oh, take a load off for a change. It's a nice summer festival. Live a little. Oh, really? Just don't stay out too late. Really? Okay, that's interesting. An interesting option that I may pursue. Hmm. Am I correct in assuming? That you are. Took me by surprise, too. Sounds like I'm a step, uh, step ahead of you. We've met before. Met whom? I'm afraid you've all lost me. All this has to do with me, say, isn't it? Hmm, now that I think of it, pretty sure I've heard of her too. Ah, oh, I've heard all about you. This is the first time we've met in person, isn't it? 
I have to admit, I'm jealous of you. These days, I'm pretty much an Imperial noble. Been a while since I've been back to Nord. It's a pleasure to meet you, Brigadier General. To be honest, I was away for a bit myself. Well, between the Society and the Conference, tomorrow's bound to be a big day. May the wind and Adios be with you, Gaius. Good luck completing your mission. Yes. Thank you for the kind words. How much do you know, Bardius? But it's not a mission. It's my duty as a member of Class 7. Okay, maybe there isn't something more going on. Hmm. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, it's so beautiful. The sea is illuminated by hundreds of flames. So, this is Ordis' famous summer festival. <laughs> it's just like Angelica was saying. We should take the time to enjoy ourselves while we're here. Yeah, a little bit of fun won't kill us. It might be a bit early, but... Now seems like the time to strike if you're looking for souvenirs. Woo! <laughs> I'm on it! <laughs> I just hope I can find a decent bar around here. You're underage. No decent bar would serve you. Instructor, the lights are so romantic. How would you like to go for a walk along the harbor? Just the two of us. Could you not? This has become the norm. You know, it shifted from Altina being like the one like, could you stop? And she's just like, eh, whatever. And now Yuna's the one just like, stop it already. Like, Altina's almost giving like a, just like, slight like, ah, uh, how nice sort of a feel to it. Okay, this is probably a good place to end it as I've been recording for about four hours. So yeah, I think I'm going to end it there and I will see you all next time. When I will be sufficiently less, hopefully less confused. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully ne uh, less confused. Okay. See y'all next time. Drive safely, everyone.